Hi and welcome to the second lesson on AGK and in this lesson we're going to follow on from the previous lesson and we're going to move our character around the screen. We're going to use, there's a number of ways to move a character around. We can use a virtual joystick which is something I'll show later on. We can use the, the mouse pointer or as we're going to do today we're going to use the, the keyboard and we're going to use the arrow keys, the left, right, up and down arrow keys to, to move our character around. And so to do this we need to use go subs. So we've got our structure, we've got our do loop and we've got our go subs here ready to go. So I'll start with a go sub move player. Um, so that will call a go sub and I'll start the go sub here. So this will be move player. And you need to put a call on that, and and all go subs end with the, with the, with the return command. And we now, and so now we we just need to put our code in between, in between these two lines. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use the up and down left right arrow keys. I've got the code ready, and I'm going to show you quickly how that works and explain explain to you how I've how I how I've arrived at that. So let's do up down first of all and I'll ex also explain how, how I know what what these key commands are. So if I copy that into my move player routine. Okay, so what have I done? I've got if get raw key state is 38, then the Y position is minus five and if his uh, the call, the get raw key state is forty, so if 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 the, if the key is pressed and it's what whatever number forty is, then then in, then the player increases. Um, how do I know what what key thirty eight and key forty is? Well, um, I did a search around within the app game kit and I did find what the scan codes are. Um, I'll post a link on the to this address. On the bottom of um, this YouTube video and this shows you they call them the scan codes they tell you what all the keys are so I've just done 38 which is up and 40 which is down and then left and right to 37 and 39 if I want to do which I will do I'll put a quit key in so it, it, we just need to look what letter so the quit key so if you press Q it's 81 so these tell us what what the key state is. Um, also, how did I know? So that's how I know what thirty eight and forty do. How do I know what to get raw key state command? How did I find that command? Well, if you go to the help guide, which is really good in AGK, you you'll you'll get this help guide. And the way I did it is I started off. I went to the examples, and you'll see complete example games that that you can run. These, these example games are really good. Um, um, scrolling sprites, moving sprites, they're, they're all there and, and you can lift the code straight from here to, to start um, start making a game. So that's how I started off. Um, also, uh, another way that I, that I like to do it as well was I went into the commands menu and I just, I, I knew that to move a player around I need to click the input button so I went to input and I just and I just looked around here and I found the the get raw key state here and when you click it it gives you example it explains how it works and it gives you uh, uh, an example there the key code the key to check so that's basically how you you sort of learn these commands so going back to the game why have I got what does the minus five and the plus five mean? Well, 38 is the app key, and so if you imagine we our, our screen is set to 800 across and 600 down, so the top corner, the top left of the screen, is what is called zero zero, and we're working on the up and down keys. So, so the top is zero, and the very bottom is 600. So if if you imagine the player was set right in the middle of the screen, if I want to move up, then 
I'm going from say 400 or 300 to zero, so I'm decreasing, so it would be negative. And if I'm set in the middle of the screen at 300 and I want to move down, then I, I, I'm increasing it. I'm going from 300 up to 600. So that's why I use plus and minus. And the five are the number of pixels that I wish to move at. So if I um, compile this and I run it, you'll see that if I press the up key, he moves up at a rate of five pixels. And if I move down, he moves down. If I if I get it the wrong way around, all it means is that when I press the up key, so if I change this to to plus, and I compile and run it. Now, when I press the up key, he's going to move down. So that's not good to us. So that's why we use um, the negative and the the positive. Also, if I change this to 55, that, that means it'll increase a lot faster. So if I now press the up key, you'll see if he goes really quickly. He's flown, he's flown off the screen. So, so it's too fast. So when you're making a game, if you want to, you can increase. We'll, we will do this later on. You could call that variable, we could call it speed, and then you could set the speed at the start of the game to be say five or even two and then as each level increases you increase the speed by one or two so the so the character moves faster or perhaps moves slower so if you're outrunning somebody as the game gets harder perhaps you move slower so that's our up, up and down keys now i'll go to the the last two which is the left and right key and the, the principle will be exactly the same. Um, minus five, so it's exactly the same. We know the thirty-seven is the left key from the scan codes. So if it's, if if we're moving back left towards zero, then we're decreasing, and plus five is increasing. And then the last thing we want to do is 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 just check our our coordinates on the screen so set make sure we set the, the position back so i just like to do that because it gets easier later on when we start start coding some more game but you know it'll 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 be fine without that and so the set we've reset the spike position so we know where he is and that's pretty much how to move the player around so now if i run the game I can move up, down, left, left and right. Now, if you notice, I'm moving up, moving down, but my left and right keys are still moving me up and down. So, there's obviously a problem in the code. So, we got, we've got 38, we got, ah, well, right, we've got Y position and Y position. But if you notice, I haven't got X, I've got Y and Y, so I've copied the code in slightly incorrectly. So, if I do, if I change that to X, I do that to X, X, and X, and now I compile it, run my game, left, right, up and down, and the game is now fully functioning. I did say, rather than I'm going to press the escape key all the time, I'd put in another go sub to make a quit key so I like to keep the, the code fairly tidy so I put these remarks in so a new go sub I will call it go sub quit so there's the go sub and now I now I need to put that subroutine in to be called so I'll quickly put that in so we've got quit and we've got return and we said the quit key was 81 so all we need to do is put put it put it comment into code press Q to quit and 
basically if the raw key state pressed is one so one is on zero is off so if get key pressed is 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 81 which we know relates to q end the game and if uh, and and the if command and return so i compile that and run the game back down right press the q but key and the game ends so that's two subroutines put into our game and everything's pretty much ready to go so that's the bit the basics of a game of a player moving around in the next lesson we'll we'll put a structure into the middle of the screen a wall and we'll play around with some effects of uh, if it being an obstacle or of it randomly placing them somewhere on the screen i hope you find that useful um, and I'll see you at lesson three. Thank you very much.